veterinary experts are concerned that over 90% of all rabies cases in Uganda are transmitted through domestic dog bites. Statistics from the Uganda National Institute of Public Health indicate that at least 14,865 dog bites and 36 rabies deaths were registered annually in Uganda from 2015 to 2022. Therefore, rabies remains a public health hazard in Uganda and there is urgent need to establish advocacy programs to curtail the spread of rabies. It is against this background that the Dog Walks Events Limited organized the Dog Walk today to sensitize the public to vaccinate their dogs. <laughs> dog breeders and owners converged at Kololo Mackenzie Val to walk their dogs for 8 kilometers around Kololo. Before the walk, the RDC of Nansa na Shafiki Suvuga, who is a dog lover, highlighted the importance of vaccinating dogs and dog walks. When you love the dog, you always get a passion of handling, maintaining, and caring for a dog. Don't love something you cannot handle. Leave it for others to handle. All those who, are who love, have dogs at home, we advise them to vaccinate their dogs rabies every year. All people who are going to participate to be very careful with their dogs, more especially if you know that your dog is an aggressive dog. Several dog breeders and owners turned up with their dogs at the headquarters of dog walk events in Kololo. The dogs featured various colors, black, brown, white, cream, gray, and dogs with patterns that have multiple colors. We noticed some dogs with big tails, some with curled tails that rest on their backs, while some had tiny bob tails. Others had reduced tails. Dogs with different shapes were also brought for the walk that left many, including children, looking on excitedly. <laughs> The mass dog attracted several, including those in their homes, to come and see for themselves. As a result of the 8-kilometer walk, some of the dogs that were not used to the journey were exhausted and some had to be carried to the finish line. <laughs> However, the journey saw some dogs given water to drink as it became evident that the exercise had become too much for them. <laughs> what was evident was how the dog owners had developed a great relationship with their pets, especially as they described them. I don't want him to get tired. Yeah. Why? <laughs> because he's still young and it has been a long journey. So. Well, today it was his first time to meet other dogs because where he stays there is only two. So it was his first time to meet many dogs and uh, many people around. So I didn't know how it's going to go, but I'm so happy that he has worked well. Some dog owners were happy to show off the skills their pets had learned over time, including staying on their legs for long. <laughs> At the end of the day, the RDC, police and veterinary officers available, highlighted the importance of the dog walk and vaccination. Uh, let's put efforts to, to vaccinate against rabies and another disease called leptospirosis. At the same time, we are teaching people about the advantages of a dog. A dog is a standard security person. I, we call him a person because for us we are parts of dogs. We, do, we no longer call dogs animals. Patrick Senyondo, NTV. Thank you.